time now for today's talk back segment. Usually we ask you the question, but today we kind of switched it a little bit. We asked you what questions do you have for Johnny Depp as he continues on his cross examination? Put yourself in that courtroom. What would you ask him? Still with me, criminal defense attorney David Bruno and former Department of Justice senior attorney Tammy Allison. All right, guys, let's go to our first comment. And it comes from Lucy. She says, Is this really about the money or is this about your reputation? If the answer is to clear your name and reputation, then why sue for $50 million instead of $1? Tell me, I'll start with you. It's a great question because I honestly feel like it really is for him about his reputation. He knew all this stuff was going to come out, but he just wanted to have his say, put it on the record here in the States, I think. I think it's about his need to continue to abuse this woman. He's addicted to abusing her, and it's not about the money at all. He cannot physically touch her anymore, so he's going to keep messing with her in her head by these abusive litigation tactics. Hmm. David Bruno, your response to that? I think it's both. I think it's the reputation and the money. Um, certainly, something has affected his ability to get new jobs. And, and honestly, if I were on the defense side, I'd be pointing to the drug abuse, to the imagery that's coming out in this case. Um, I look at this, and, and I didn't know much about Johnny Depp before this case. I didn't follow him. I wasn't a big fan of his. And I'm learning more and more about him that I did not know. So while I think a lot of people knew about Johnny Depp, a lot of people are learning a lot about this case, and I don't know if it helps the reputation at all. Yeah, I don't know if I could ever look at Captain Jack Sparrow the same again. And I mean that. I'm not just joking. <laughs> Our next comment comes from Nola. Why did you stay in an abusive relationship for so long? That's what she would ask him. Why did you let her... Uh, take such advantage of you. And it's at Johnny Depp deserves justice. So clearly it's a fan of Johnny Depp, Dave. But um, there, there are a lot of people out there who believe that this was an abusive relationship, but not on the part of Johnny, on the part of Amber. Yeah, sure. Well, to answer the question directly and more generally, there's cycle of domestic violence. And there are true victims of domestic violence out there that don't seek help, that don't call the police, and that don't leave. And that is because when it gets when it's bad, it gets better. And there's the honeymoon stage and people feel comfortable. And then it's that cycle. It goes on and on and on. So if you are out there, you're following this, you're a victim of domestic violence, know that there's help and you don't need to stay in that situation. Tammy, I'd love to get you to ring in on this as well. You know, um, the comment was about, you know, why would Johnny stay? So whether he in fact was a victim or a survivor of domestic violence, he also, um, just like many people in this country, including myself, we talked about the fact that he's an A-list actor, his image, and what that would do to admit that you have suffered through something so horrendous. And as we see, when Amber spoke out, or even he spoke out, if people out there believe that he was, in fact, a victim of domestic violence, this is where we are. They're still suing each other. They're still fighting. It's still very abusive. It's still very toxic. And unfortunately, when you are in a position of power, it kind of tends to drag out like this. So yes, it is important to seek help and get away, but it is also important for others who are not in there to lean on and help other people that they know is going through it with words of encouragement and assistance as well. I truly, truly appreciate your perspective. Thank you so much, because I, I hadn't been thinking about it quite in the way that you're talking about it. I really appreciate it. Our final comment comes from Diana. I think we'll just leave it here. She says she would ask him something actually relevant to the case. All right, so she's making a comment on the fact. We touched on it earlier. There's a lot of people who feel that a lot of these questions about his alcohol abuse, et cetera, are irrelevant. I think we touched on that. Uh, I want to thank that David Bruno, Tammy Allison. Both of you guys were fantastic. Truly appreciate you joining me tonight. Hopefully you'll come back and join me again soon. Coming up next, guys.